Another incident of suspected food poisoning has rocked a community. This time in the Free State, at least 21 pupils from Yobe Primary School in Pahameng have been admitted to hospital after presenting with stomach cramps after allegedly eating chocolates. The children are currently receiving medical attention. Newsroom Africa's Veronica Mahwari is at the hospital and joins us live. We listened earlier, Veronica, to teachers taking us through uh, what uh, they witnessed. Have the authorities said anything yet? Well, we, I can tell you now that, uh, we, in fact, we have visited two hospitals here in this community where we've now gotten an official number and an update from both the Education Department as well as the Premier's Office who have given us an updated number saying that uh, from that 21 learners who were initially reported um, having fallen ill and hospitalised, it has now risen to 43. That is the official number from the children at Ibo. Uh, Ihobe Primary School who admitted to hospital after eating this suspected chocolate that was shared among pupils, 43 pupils. Uh, we're going to get a bit more of an update from the Premier herself, who in fact has been visiting some of the learners here. Premier, I think first I can just start with, thank you for your time, firstly, but um, the condition of some of the pupils as you visited them in the different wards. Okay, on my arrival, the situation was a bit bad, no, but not that bad. Few of the learners were still throwing up, others were still running to, to the toilet as they complained of diarrhea. But uh, the time I spent here, most of them were stabilized, and we only have three patients now that are left in the hospital. One in a private uh, hospital that is just behind us, and two on the other side. And really, the other one really needs to be taken good care of. Uh, it was a bit bad. It was, uh, it was not something that one parent would like to see as her situation was really, really not satisfactory at all. But we are happy that most of them have been discharged. And the only unfortunate situation is that, that those who are still reacting from home. As we arrive here, there's one that risen the number to 43, one reacted from home. So we're worried what's going to happen in the evening for those who did not show signs earlier on. So we're hopeful that they'll be fine. Yeah. And let's, let's just actually talk about the condition of the three that are still now currently in hospital. You mentioned there that one is really in critical condition. We've seen in other provinces, specifically Gauteng, the number of young children who are dying from this suspected food poisoning as the free state government. Um, any precautions that you think perhaps you should have taken uh, in regards to this? Or does this you know, concern you at all, given that we've seen the worst case scenario of these cases? You know, sometimes until this happens, that's when you realize we've been just on the alert, but we never thought we'd be affected the way we are to, uh, we're affected today. And uh, as I leave this hospital, I'll be going to the radio station where we're going to make the communities aware. I was, I think one uh, issue that we really need to address is to target uh, in the group of the MECs. I've also posted that let's address, uh, let's target the wholesale schools. You see what happened from this school. It's one of our ladies around there, but they are buying from this wholesale so we really need to target the, the wholesalers. But there also need to be an announcement to all municipalities to really take precautionary measures and discourage vendors for now. We understand that there are people who are living out of that. But because of the situation that we are faced with now, I'm going to the radio station now. We'll be issuing a statement. Honestly, the radio that, is being, uh, that has a majority of our listeners here in the Free State, just to alert uh, people and like, make sure that we don't have these vendors. But remember, we might remove vendors from schools, but these learners can still buy from the shops before they go to school. So we really have a mammoth task uh, in our hands. It's, uh, the situation is bad, but we are trying our best. Uh, the, the health inspectors from municipalities, environmental health inspectors as well are being called in to assist. As you can see here in that uh, the site, I'm sure you started that site where there are a lot of patients from. They, um, they, there's a, resp a rapid response team that is being led by Dr. Siho earlier on. So I think we're we're hands on. I don't think we will ever rest until we find a, a solution. It's not easy as the shops are scattered as you know, 
we might, the message might not be reached by all of our, our people, but we are going to try our best and going, uh, sending even circulars to municipalities to assist us, to loud hail even our communities, to really discourage uh, our kids to buy from this shop up until we, have, uh, we are able to monitor and remove some of these items that we don't even know where were they manufactured from. And uh, uh, as you know, it's not that, uh, it's just that uh, this is really an unfortunate situation. Last year, when I was still in the community safety route center, you know that one of my campaigns was to visit these shops and make sure that we remove these items that we don't know their, 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 their origin. So it's a pity that we're faced with this situation. Well, thank you so much for your time, Premier. Uh, they're speaking officially to the Gauteng government, if you'd have, well, rather the Free State government, if you'd have it, about how this issue has affected them. Uh, the Premier, of course, they're saying that they will now be taking precautionary measures, that this is something that had alerted uh, the government, but now having to urge municipalities as well to work together to curb this. But uh, there you have it for you. The now number risen from 21 pupils to 43. Back to you.